Hi, welcome back for another lesson. Uh, today's lesson is just going to be a couple more Michael Bloomfield books, and I would like to say thank you to everybody who subscribed. Uh, I just hit 100 subscribers. I am so happy about this. I'm going to keep posting more guitar stuff, more music theory stuff, uh, reviews of new gear, and I hope you enjoy it. I am so thankful to have you all here, and thank you so much. Let's get into the lesson. All right, well, we're going to go over a couple Michael Bloomfield licks from Albert's Shuffle. I won't be going through the whole song. Um, it's an extremely long song with so many licks in it. It would take a long time to do a full lesson over that. So I'm just going to look at maybe like the first 30 seconds um, and just show you some great licks just from there that you can use for your own playing. So he's coming from a D chord down to a C. G. Songs in G. So we're starting on the five. You can use this over any any chord. That great little lick right there, you're just using the D minor pentatonic. And you're bending up on the twelfth fret of the G string. And then you're hitting the 10th fret of the B and E, that classic lick. And then you're gonna bend up a full step, the 13th fret of the B. And then quickly down, unbend it. And then work your way down to the root note. Again, you can use this in any key. And then he slides to the BB box. So that's the second minor pentatonic extension box of G minor. Slide up once. There's our first extension box. Our second is right here. It also aligns with chord. So coming from the D and then just sliding in to the ninth fret going to the eighth fret. So ninth fret G, eighth fret on the B. Then you do some hammer offs and pull offs right there. Or hammer ons and pull offs. You can do, you know, whatever you want in your own playing, but coming from this five to the four and using the BB box. Sounds great. The BB box also works well over the five. So again, coming from this lick, sliding into the BB box. And then he does what Albert King does a lot. He's bending up right here. So this is the 11th fret of the B string. Just bend it half or whole. Either one's going to sound good. And he jumps right down to the G minor pentatonic. Hits that root note. And then right there, he's doing the same thing. Bending up, this is going to be the sixth fret of the B string. And then playing around in that minor pentatonic box. Or, yeah, shape. So far we have this. Into here. doing this lick again and then also grabbing his pinky getting the B or the high E or the B doesn't matter both sound great that's a nice little lick you can use that anywhere I use that a ton and then right into this nice phrase Again, this is in G minor. 
all you're doing is sliding up the first extension box, but he does it in such a way that it's a distinct phrase. So you're on third fret, B to E. And then sliding up, third fret, B. To eighth fret, B. Sixth fret, E. Bending up on the high E, right here, and then quarter bend, half bend, and then resolving it. So that whole phrase again. And he's going six, eight, seven to end that. Right to the BB box again, but you're going 11, 10, 8 on the B. Some hammer on some pull offs, and then a full bend. And then you're going to go from the 12th fret of the G. You're sliding into that. 11th fret of the B. 13th fret of the B. Bend up on that 13th fret, a full bend. Quarter bend on the 11th. Resolve it down right here to the 12th fret G. So coming from here. Excuse me. Thirteenth fret of the B, and then making your way to the D minor pentatonic. Ten, twelve, thirteen, and then thirteen, twelve, ten. And then ending that, you're on the seventh fret of B. Hammer on from seven to eight. A fret B string to end that. So coming from, let's start when we're here. All right, tons of great licks in there. I know it was a fairly short lesson but we're zoomed in just you know pause it and rewind it my first lick uh, the first lick i played is one of my favorites i use it all the time it's great to kick off solos just remember where he's playing this and what chords he's playing it over right that lesson again thank you for subscribing if you did and if you didn't please subscribe and i will see you next time bye